Hi, Kevin. Hi, Anna. Hi, Maria. Sorry um, about what just happened. Um, I didn't uh, plug in my laptop, so it turned off. So um, let's just correct um, activity five again um, from page 61. Okay, so number one was C. Two was A. Three B. Four A. Five A. And six A. All right, so now um, in the last activity, activity five, you have prepositional phrases in bold, right? Um, we talked about at least, uh, in case, at all, in charge, at the latest, up to date, and on sale. Now, I want you to do activity seven, match the phrases in bold in the adverts from activity five, and match them to the definitions from one to eight in activity seven, okay? What do they mean? What are the definitions? Pause the video, complete the activity, and we'll come back and correct it. Okay, not less than, number one, at least. Modern or recent, or recent, I'm sorry, up to date. Up to date, it's the newest that exists, okay? I am up to date with all the newest information. Uh, number three, available to buy on sale. So, for example, um, you can buy food at the supermarket. Food is available to buy, okay? It is on sale. Number four, not even slightly at all. Um, I don't like reggaeton at all, zero percent. Five, in charge means to have control. I am in charge of my students. I am the boss, right? Okay, but to be the responsible one in charge. Six, no later than, at the latest, okay? Um, please hand in your information, your exam, at the latest, okay, at seven o'clock. Seven o'clock at the latest. Seven. This is surprising, but, okay, in fact, okay, factual information. You're giving information, in fact. And eight, a way of being safe from something that might happen in case, right? What happened this week? Everybody was buying toilet paper in case something really bad happens and they can't buy toilet paper again, right? All right, so those are the prepositional phrases. Um, one thing about number three, available to buy on sale, it can mean available to buy. You can buy these products here. These products are available. It can also mean a discount. So be careful on the context of the sentence. You know, I bought the scarf. It was on sale for two euros, right? So it can mean two things, available to buy and a discount. Okay, and finally, um, activity eight. I want you to complete the sentences with the phrases in bold in the adverts and the notices. Okay, so complete the sentences. And again, if you'd like, you can please email me your answers. Okay, so that's it for this week. I hope you have a good day and we'll talk to you soon. See you next week. Bye-bye.